G'day punters, Alex and Stats Guy here for Code Bet. Match week 16 coming your way this weekend in the EPL, but let's quickly do a wrap up of match week 15. Most importantly, let's look at the main result of the weekend as Arsenal got the job done over Chelsea. How good does Stats Guy look? Some would say he's never looked better. I think he looks great. That's insulting because you keep losing. Go and Chelsea, lost we'll in... be back, we'll be back. You lost in the Carabao we'll Cup this morning, but no one cares about it. Nah. What, what do you call it, the Carabao Cup, the AFL Cup? Yeah, AFL, I don't know. I, I'm a traditionalist, so like I call the Sydney Swans South Melbourne, so let's stick to the AFL, AFL Cup. AFL Cup, yeah. But yeah, Arsenal rule and Chelsea drool. Yeah. Pretty simple there. <laughs> Uh, look, we'll go through the couple of other results. Liverpool beat Tottenham. Yep. Uh, Liverpool resurgent to a yeah. degree. They got taken to penalties in the AFL Cup this morning. Yep. Tottenham have now only won two of their last seven games across all competitions, so their form's a bit of a concern. Thankfully, we have yeah. a break soon. Yep. Aston Villa beating Manchester United. That was 3-1. That was a big game. Unai Emery out for redemption. He's back. Yep. And look, I'm just going to let you talk about Newcastle and Southampton. Go. Sure, yeah. Newcastle look amazing. They're now up to third. I'm, I can't believe they're up to third. This time last year, they were 19th. No, no, no. We're not, we're not so, talking about the result. Come but, on. All right, I'll just Come it on. Miggy does it again. Miggy Almiron, Miguel Almiron, he's scored another banger every week for the last four weeks and seven of the last eight he's scored, which is amazing. So I want to get I'm a tattoo across <laughs> Just here, over here. So I got him at $6, so jump on that uh, this week even as well. So there you go, watching. ladies. Co Stats guy is cashed up from CodeBet. Have a look at him. Nah. Looking ahead to match week 16, please don't take me seriously. Uh, we'll have a look at just sort of through a few of the games. Manchester City, they take on Brentford. Yep. Well, that's unfortunate for Brentford going to the Eddie had before yeah. the World Cup break. Yeah, I think a lot of them will want to yeah, finish up the, before the World Cup break on a high, just absolutely smash Brentford. They, that's what I think they'll do. Yeah. Well, six dollars fifty for Erling Haaland to get a hat trick with Blue Bet uh, after he just snuck on for a penalty last week against Fulham. You think he's yep. going to be up and about? And the scary thing is, he's about to have six weeks off because exactly. Norway didn't make the World Cup. Yep. What the hell? Yeah, I think he'll he'll be fired up. He probably isn't happy that they didn't make the World Cup. So yeah, he, he could get a hat trick, which would be I feel bad for his Brentford. third. I think at, at, uh, at ridiculous. Home. I yeah, think he'll be on twenty one goals if he kicks three <laughs> this weekend. That's insanity. Crazy. Uh, Liverpool take on Southampton this weekend. Of course, they sacked their manager throughout the week. Yes. Uh, do we see Southampton doing a little bit and playing well, or do Liverpool at home just get the job done? Well, there's that old thing of when yeah manager gets sacked, they somehow go well. But I think. They won't win, but I reckon they could score. They've got some decent attacking players like Che Adams. I yep. think he could be a bit of value to score, but yeah, they could score. But I think South, uh, Liverpool will get a big win. Yeah, yeah, I agree there. I think they're just slowly building. If you look on like expected points and goals, if everything had gone Liverpool's way, they should be in the top four. Exactly, so yeah. They'll keep moving up. The World Cup break comes at a good time for them, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Wolves and Arsenal. Uh, Arsenal go across to the Molyneux. Arsenal are $1.53. Why? Uh, I don't know. I still, most Premier League games, they're not getting much lower than that, but they should probably be, be lower. They're, like, they're the top of the table. $1.30, Wolves, $1.40. Wolves can't score a goal. God, so. they're bad. Yeah, I, I, that's pretty good value for a multi just to chuck in there. Why not? I think the $1.53, I'm going to say it again. I've said it for the last month. Jesus, Gabriel Jesus needs to go. I'll see what I did there. Uh, <laughs> look, I believe in him. I think he'll get one. He got named in the Brazil World Cup squad this week, yep. so there's a little bit of that. Okay, at least, you know, my manager from Brazil believes in me and I'm going to Qatar. So yep. a goal here just really perk him up going into that. Absolutely. Uh, Fulham and Manchester United, tricky game. I don't know where to look. Fulham, well, they'll be heartbroken after yeah. last week uh, get it, getting done there. But hey, they scored against Manchester City for the first time since 2013. Claps for Fulham. Yeah. Well done, Tony Khan. Well done. Uh, tricky game though. I think this one could be a draw. Yeah, it could be. They they both know how to score goals, so I think both teams to score at a dollar fifty seven on bet three six five. Not good, a bad bet. Good bet. Um, but yeah, I think it could be a draw. They're both around this only four points separating them on where, the table as well. Yeah, where are both teams sort of at? Fulham have been really good yeah. since they came up this year in Manchester City. Some sometimes they're good. Sometimes, well, I've said it before. Um, we'll play the thing in the background. Thank, <laughs> thank you, video guy. Uh, main game of the weekend. Let's yep. finish up. Sure. How are you going to do this? This is like this is like choosing between your favourite children, Newcastle and Miggy. Take on yep. your boys, Chelsea. Where, do, where does your heart lie? And please do not be Switzerland and sit on the fence. No, nah, well, I might sit on the fence because I think a draw could be possible. But you can, <sighs> it's good value, over $3. It's okay, guys, I love all of you. Come um, on. I think both teams can leak goals, so over 2.5 is pretty okay. good bet as well. But yeah, I think it could be a draw, slightly maybe leaning towards Newcastle just because they're in great form. I say, like you said, you think there's going to be a couple of goals. I agree there. I think the, the doubles market, which I love with Blue yep. Bet, Newcastle and over two and a half match goals, yep. $3.60. I think that's a pretty Provide. good bet there. Yep. Really happy to take on Chelsea. Jeez, they just did not look like they were going to score last week. It was, no, no offense, man. It was embarrassing yeah, watching yeah. you guys go forward. If it wasn't for some defensive lapses, you probably wouldn't have got a shot. No, we've, yeah, we've been shocking. Like, somehow I can't find any consistency at all. We've got a pretty good squad, but 
yeah, the brakes probably had a good time. I need to just reset, get past the World Cup and go again. Well, that's all the games that we've gone through. Give me your best bet for the weekend to send the punters out on a high before we head to the World Cup. Sure, I reckon uh, Bobby Firmino from uh, Liverpool. He's, he wasn't happy that he didn't make the Brazilian World Cup squad. He scored six goals already this season. I reckon he'll score one. Did uh, you see his penalty against Derby County? I don't I think did. it's come down yet. <laughs> no, that's all right. He, he won't need a penalty. He'll just score on like, the outside it was, of the box. It was yeah. like conversion complete. Oh, it was oh, one of those ones. Shocking. Yeah, my best bet of the weekend, I believe. I believe in the man. Gabriel Jesus to score a goal at any time, $2.62. Please repay my faith in you and go to Brazil. Uh, go, no, sorry, go for Brazil and go to Qatar and, you know, top goal scorer, $36. Hey, yeah. a little something there. Pretty good. I mean, Neymar will probably try and steal everything, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> another one. That's the World Cup, which will be coming your way. We'll, look, we'll be doing a bunch of uh, statistics analysis and everything yeah. else that we can really think of, because let's be honest, all the bookies that are with us have a stack of markets at the moment. I can't wait to get amongst it. I don't think we're going to sleep for the next month. No, hey, it's going to be awesome. Okay. I love it. A lot of coffee. That's what we <laughs> want to hear. But as always, head to CodeBet com.au for everything throughout the weekend. But as always, Mickey Stats guy. Gamble responsibly.